Hello. So we just got off the safari. We got about an hour till our actual reservation at Sanaa. So we're pretty much headed out to the buses and then we'll take a bus over to Animal Lodge and then we'll have dinner there. So well, I guess we'll see you at the restaurant. Do I do I do I Disney Time Podcast? I know I said earlier that Sanaa is located in the Animal Kingdom Lodge, but specifically it's located in the Animal Kingdom Villa's Kidani Village. To be clear, Animal Kingdom Lodge is broken up into two portions, the Animal Kingdom Villa's Jumbo House and Kidani Village. So if you're taking a bus to Animal Kingdom Lodge, just know that there's these two different locations. From my experience, the bus drivers are very helpful at describing which is which, so if you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Again, where we're headed tonight is the restaurant Sanaa, located in the Kidani village. The lobby itself is really beautiful, and I kind of wish I could see it during the day, especially with the large window towards the back. Hopefully I could see the lobby during the day <laughs> during a future trip. The overall theme of Sanaa and the lodge itself is African, and is quite exquisite with many intricate details using authentic African designs and items, such as statues and carvings, relics, and instruments on display. Anyway, getting to Sanaa from the lobby is quite simple. There's a large staircase at the back of the lobby towards the large glass window, and it leads straight to Sanaa. Hey, so we're inside Sanaa, and um, we actually got seated early here too, so that was pretty lucky. Um, yeah, this uh, restaurant is really nice looking. So, um, yeah, we got the menu here. I'm going to look at uh, what's available, but um, definitely one thing we're going to get is the Indian style bread service. So there's going to be plenty of uh, naans available here, and other, I guess, bread type. So, that's definitely going to be our uh, appetizer for tonight. I also got a Safari Amber, so I'm going to try that out. Um, but here at this restaurant, it's Indian and African style dishes. So it's kind of a mixture of both. They have both available here. Um, I think what I'm going to go for is the South African, it's called Bri... Bri... Lees? Sorry, I can't really say it, but... It's like a sampler of like fire grilled meats with a traditional accompaniment. So she mentioned, the, our waitress mentioned that uh, it comes with like mashed potatoes, but I think I'm gonna ask to switch that out for like basmati rice if, if that's possible. So yeah, this uh, restaurant is really nice and can't wait to try the food here. Oh, our Indian bread service item has already arrived and there's plenty of naan and like, I forget what the other one was called but Indian style breads and then all nine sauces it goes from not so spicy to spicy it loops around so yep as Nelly pointed out but uh, man this looks really good can't wait to try we just got our food this looks really good here's my sampler plate meat sampler that I mentioned. Trebo got the... Buttered chicken and the uh, chickpeas. Chickpeas with, of course, basmati. Okay, paused here real quick. I just wanted to explain both Trebo and Nell's dishes they ordered. They both got the Pachi inspired entree, which is essentially a two item meal with basmati rice. So you pick your first item called the journey, which would be your meat or protein portion of your meal. These items include the Gone Seafood Curry, Butter Chicken, Braised Beef, Paneer Tikka, or Spiced Durban Shrimp. And the second item, called the Harvest, is your plant-based item. Options include the Chickpea Wat, Aloo Masala, Lentil Dal, or Cilantro Coconut Vegetables. So one item from the Journey and the Harvest each. And then, of course, served with Basmati Rice. So many different combinations could be made here. Okay, back to the overview. And then Nelly got... Oh, 
Oh, that's right. The tandoori paneer. Paneer, yeah. Oh, paneer tiki. Yeah. Tika, tiki tika. Alrighty, well, let's dig in. Hello. Uh, so, we're at the bus stop just outside the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Uh, waiting for a bus to get back to Animal Kingdom and then from there back to the hotel. But, um, man, dinner? Wow. <laughs> that yeah. was so good. I feel like yeah. a little roly poly. Yeah, like that uh, Indian bread service was, that was so good. All the sauces. So oh, good. man. There was the. There's this one that was like the red hummus. Mm -hmm. uh, there was only like, it was kind of like a pesto. And then the two spicy ones. Yeah. Oh man, I know Trayvon liked the really last one. I think the, if we were going to get it again, we could just pick the five out that we really liked. <laughs> yeah, the, of the sauces, yeah. <laughs> but I think first timers, you should get all of them. Oh yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Try it's it. only like a couple bucks actually. Yeah. So. That's worth it. Do it. Especially yeah. if you like bread. Right. Oh, but and then our dishes. Mine was really good. I um really enjoyed it. It was very nice. And then I, I had a sausage, a uh, lamb chop, and then uh, pork, some right? pork tenderloin. Yeah. So each of them were really nice. I liked it a lot. Then these two had uh, butter chicken and then a yeah. different um, side. I had the non melting cheese. That yeah. was yeah. Paneer that was tikka. So yeah, and then Trebo so got the chickpeas. Chickpeas. They were yeah. okay. Yeah, you added more sauce to it. Yeah. <laughs> I would have rather had the paneer, yeah. yeah. Dinner was a total success. This restaurant is simply amazing. We had great service and delicious food. If you like African and Indian flavors, or possibly are just open for more adventurous cuisine, Sanaa is a perfect fit. My only critique is that it's a bit of a trek to get out there, as it's located in the Animal Kingdom Lodge. But if you find yourself already out there, or you were even intrigued to give this restaurant a try, I must say it's definitely worth the trip. If you haven't already guessed, I recommend the Indian style bread service. It was so freaking good. Overall, I highly recommend you give this restaurant a try if you get the chance. Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning in to our YouTube video and for watching this latest video. Please click on either of the videos on the either side here and also please subscribe to our channel. Go to DisneyTimePodcast.com where we have our podcast as well as some more of the vlog videos and we also have our Instagram account link there. So check it out. Thanks.